is your photo library filled with duplicates? Don't worry, in this video I'm going to introduce you to PhotoSweeper, an amazing tool for getting rid of duplicates in your Mac photo library quick and efficiently. Whether you're organising family albums, professional photo shoots or just trying to tidy up your photo chaos, PhotoSweeper will make your job so much easier by getting rid of your photo duplicates. But knowing where to start with this powerful tool is half the battle. So in this video I'm going to share my simple workflow to removing duplicates with PhotoSweeper. What is PhotoSweeper? First let me tell you about this powerful app. PhotoSweeper is a Mac based tool designed specifically to help you identify and remove duplicates and similar photos. It works with standalone folders on your computer but the best bit is it also works with your Apple Photos library as well. It doesn't just find exact duplicates, it can also identify similar photos which is great for decluttering those multiple burst shots or nearly identical images. Step 1. Download and install PhotoSweeper. To get started, visit the official PhotoSweeper website or download it directly from the Mac Apple Store. Install the software and launch it. Then make sure that your photos are stored on your Mac or an external drive accessible by your computer. Step 2. Select mode and import your photos. There are a few types of scan that you can do, but we are going to do just a simple single list scan, so select single list mode. Then to input your photos, drag and drop the folder into the input area. Or if you are doing an Apple Photos catalogue, just drag and drop the Apple Photos catalogue icon into the input area and then click compare. Step 3. Set your comparison method. Now comes the fun part, letting PhotoSweeper work its magic. There are a few comparison modes that we can do, but we are just going to do a similar match to locate photos that look alike but might not be identical, such as burst photos or edited versions. As for the settings, go for photos of any size, file name, have the slider at any, time gap, have the slider at more, and then for the match level, a couple of ticks below the exact. Click start and PhotoSweeper will add your files and compare them. If you have a lot of files, it may take some time, so you might need to leave it running and come back to it later. Step four, set auto marking criteria. Once it's run, we have our review screen, but first we need to get the tool to do some auto marking of the files to be deleted. So click on auto marking in the bottom left and click show preferences. Now there are a ton of settings that you can use to mark your files and I'm sure in time you will have your favourites. But for me, I go for file size, mark smaller, DPI, so dots per inch, mark with the lower DPI, dimensions, mark smaller, capture date, mark later with the assumption that I may have done some edits that I don't want to keep, creation date, mark with later, as again, I want to keep the original, file type, mark raw and HEIC, mostly because I want to be able to share all of my photos, but if raw is your bag, then do the opposite. Keywords, mark without keywords, and metadata, mark without metadata, because I want to keep the most complete files. If your selections are not in this order, simply drag and drop the criteria into the right order. Once you're done, close the window with an X and click continue. Step five, review and compare. Once the auto marking is complete, you'll be presented with a list of duplicates and similar photos. To review, there are three screen options, one by one. Click on each file to see them. You can see the file location at the bottom, info like size and any other camera information over on the right hand side. You can click or press return to mark or unmark. The second option is face to face. You can see two photos next door to each other. Click to compare two photos with the little area at the bottom. You can see where the file is located at the bottom and again you can click or press return to mark. The last option is everything all in one, which is my favourite. You can click to see the location of each of the file, you get a summary at the side but also under the thumbnail as well. You can change the size of the thumbnails with the slider and you can double click or press return to mark. So pick your favourite view and then review to make sure you are happy with the marking. 
Step six, delete. Once you have reviewed all your files and you are happy with your marking, you could just delete them. But if I'm doing a big sort, I like to put them in a holding folder called trash in case I made a mistake. And then once I'm done with sorting, I can delete it later. So go to the marked folder and select move marked photos to folder. Select the folder or create a folder and click choose. And your files will move from their album location to our trash folder. If you get a pop-up saying two files are the same, then click apply to all and keep both. Then both of the files will appear in our trash folder. If you want, you can repeat with a lower level of match using the little slider in the top right-hand corner. But once you're happy, you know you are duplicate free. My top tip, back up like a pro. Clearing out unwanted photos is a fantastic way to free up space but losing the ones you treasure is far worse. That's why it is essential to back up your photos like a pro using the three, two, one backup strategy. Here's how it works. Keep three copies of your photos at any one time. Use two different formats, such as a hard drive and the cloud to reduce the risk of total data loss. Then ensure one copy is off site. So stored in a different location. This could be in the cloud or a trusted friend's house. By following this approach, you will protect your precious memories from accidental loss and enjoy them for years to come. And there you have it, a starter guide to using PhotoSuper to declutter your photo library. This tool is a game changer for anyone dealing with duplicate chaos. But what if you want to find duplicates on your phone? Then check out this little video next. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more photo organizing tips. Let me know in the comments if there's another tool or topic you'd love me to cover next. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.